You're watching a Sony Vegas compilation. What's happening guys? My name is Alex and welcome back to a brand new Vegas 15 tutorial and in case you guys didn't know I had a nice haircut yesterday so that's why I'm doing these tutorials without any caps or beanies so I received a lot of positive comments like you look way better you know uh, without a cap you know just with uh, like the neat hair so I really want to thank guys for all those uh, you know awesome comments so I decided like let's just make more tutorials without any caps obviously and in this video I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to make music, uh, how to synchronize music on text, how to make text appear on music, on the beat, however you want to call this, I would say make sure to smash the like button down below already, and I would say let's get started. So as you guys can see right now, this is going to be the beat that I will be using. That's what we're gonna use and we're gonna make our text appear, you know, per beat. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do that. And guys, before this video starts, I want to mention that people say like, I don't have the compositing mode icon. I don't have the track motion icon, but it's really simple guys to fix that is click on this little icon, boom. And then what you can do is you can just click on this guy and then this box is popping up and you just wanna make sure that you will check everything and then boom, all the icons will appear. It's gonna be really simple. So that's a really quick tip before the tutorial starts. So as you can see, Right now we are in a new Vegas project and I just dragged in a really quick simple uh, audio uh, file and what we're going to do is we're going to make the text synchronize on the music like I said. So we're going to go to the uh, media generators tab, we're going to scroll all the way until we see titles and text. I'm going to pick legacy text, I'm going to drag that on top of the audio track. I'm just going to type in uh, how to synchronize text on music as you can see. So it doesn't really fit on the screen so we're gonna make this a little bit smaller and I would say I'm going to make this 50. I think that one looks pretty cool. We're gonna also pick a nice different font. I'm gonna pick lobster because the lobster is a font that I just came across and I love it so much. So I'm gonna pick lobster as you can see it's like a kind of a, a written um, font. Now what we're gonna do is it's really simple. You you will see all the the beat uh, sound waves uh, of the music so we're gonna just make that start on the first one and we're gonna lay down a marker every time the beat happens so I'm gonna press M on my keyboard right here right here when the second beat goes I'm gonna press M the third beat M fourth beat M and then also the fifth beat an M and then the next one an M as you can see it's gonna be really straightforward and then also an M right here and then also at the end one that's what we're gonna do first of all so now that we have all the markers what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut them all into pieces so just click right on the marker press S press S press S anytime uh, the marker is there so press S it's going to be really straightforward and you just want to go ahead and cut a little bit. So now that we have cut it all the way into where the markers are, what we're going to do is we're going to just start with uh, the uh, if pan crop. And we're going to go to a mask at the bottom, this one. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on the rectangle tool. And we're going to just start selecting the first word, which is going to be how. Now as you can see, we just want to make sure we make zoom that we only have that word. Then what we're going to do is close it out. Then we're going to just click on the first one press ctrl c click on the next one press ctrl v so as you can see right now that's going to make it uh, as you can see um very easy to just you know uh, synchronize the second word so click on the event and crop of the second file and we're going to just move up this guy as you can see until uh, how to is fully in the screen so we're going to do it like so uh, like this, make sure that it's nice and detailed. Now what we're gonna do is just press Control C, press Control V again until uh, all the um, text files are copy and pasted. Now we're gonna go to the third one. We're gonna click on Event and Crop, and we're gonna just put Synchronize fully in the screen. So this is what we have already. So that's look, that looks really tight. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to make sure that this one is uh, nice and cut. So now we're going to move on with the next one. So we're going to just copy 
paste this boom like so all the way to the end because that's very obvious then go back to the uh, event pen crop and then we're going to create a new one so i'm just going to just click on here randomly and then just select the word text as you can see right here really simple now like it works the same for the next one just press ctrl c press ctrl v make sure that it is fully stretched then go wait let me fix that real quick then go to uh event pen crop obviously and then you just want to want to just uh, make the word on appear like so then go ahead and you know copy it one last time well not really one last time just once more ctrl c ctrl v as you can see pretty straightforward event pen crop as always and then just bring up uh, the word music so this is what we have in total That looks really cool guys, so this is how you make text appear or how to make text synchronize on a beat, on a music song, on, on, a, on a song in general. So that's it for this video guys, I want to thank guys for watching, I think this hair looks really tight, forgive me, but this is just the second tutorial I have ever made on the channel without any caps or beanies or whatever. So I want to thank guys for watching, let the positive comments, you know, come in about, you know, the hair and stuff. So that's it, thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for liking and subscribing as well, and I will see you guys tomorrow about a video about how to put text behind objects. It's gonna be really awesome. So that's it, that's all I have for you guys today. And I will see you guys obviously in tomorrow's video. What's happening guys? My name is Alex and you guys are probably wondering like, Alex, why are you uh, almost for two weeks straight uploading nothing but Vegas? No Photoshop, no Twitch, no deep web, uh, no uh, anything else just Vegas well guys I have so many awesome topics lined up and I know the majority of the people that are watching my channel are subscribed for Vegas tutorials so I'm just giving you guys a load and loads of Vegas content so you guys can apply to your editing so it's going to be really simple to become an expert on editing and how to really master the program so with that being said I'm gonna show you guys exactly in this video how to put text behind objects because it's going to be really it sounds really difficult like how do you even do that don't you need like Photoshop and spend an hour uh, fixing all of that no guys it is gonna be really simple and I know I'm gonna get comments about this but I'm going to do this on an image now if you want to have yourself like like for example like this moving with text right here the only thing you need to do is just mask yourself out you guys know how to mask yourself out if you're standing still like this you just want to mask it and you just if I move it up like this you just you just want to do that frame by frame so I'm just gonna do this on a still image but you guys know how to do that on a moving video just move out every single uh, part frame by frame and that's how to do it so let's go ahead and start off with this Vegas tutorial so I'm gonna just just drag in an image of a nice building so we're gonna put some text behind that so let me drag in that image uh, real quick all right folks as you can see I think this image looks so freaking nice so what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag in that image create a new video track and we're going to pick uh, media generators <clears throat> Whoa, vo little voice crack there what we're gonna do then is we're gonna pick titles and text but I'm going to pick legacy text then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just type in uh, my full name just Alex Alfred, pretty straightforward, and I think the size is also really, really uh, optimal, uh, like right off the bat. So I'm gonna just pick a new font. I'm gonna pick the font Lobster because I think that one is a really cool one. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make my text uh, be behind this object. So I'm gonna just position this a little bit more uh, like this. Make sure that it is nice and centered like so. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start off with the masking. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this little icon which says Ivan Pan Crop. And what we're gonna do then, for now, I'm gonna just uh, just make put the opacity down of the text. And we're gonna focus on masking this, um, this, this, this building. So we're gonna go ahead and click on mask at the bottom. Then we're gonna just go ahead and pick the anchor creation tool and we're gonna just start off by masking out this building. So we're gonna start off right here and we're gonna go all the way up, as you can see. Move up a little bit more of the, uh, the frame, as you can see. Then go back up again like this and then just go ahead and mask out. I'm just going to skip those blue th uh, little things because that's going to take a, 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 like way too much time for this tutorial. So I'm going to just keep uh, masking 
keep on masking everything out like this as you can see boom and we're just gonna go ahead and go through this building then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back down again we're gonna just go ahead and you know do it like this boom and as you can see the building is nice and cut out so what we're gonna do then is we're gonna duplicate this uh, this track duplicate track then the bottom one we're gonna reset the mask so we're gonna keep the top one uh, masked out and if you guys can see right now this is how it looks now if I put my opacity of the text on if I drag this text guy behind the building boom as you guys clearly can see there is just Alex Halford behind the object and like I said at the beginning of this video this works exactly the same for like for example me just sitting right here just want to go ahead and mask everything around yourself out and if I'm moving yes it's going to like when you move it is going to take a lot of time because you have to if I go like this you have to do every single frame that I'm moving so you will see the text behind the object so this is a really really quick and small tutorial about how to do that you just want to go ahead and make sure that you mask everything out and if I go ahead and click on this icon which says generated media obviously what you can do is you can just go ahead and position the, and place the text to where you want as you can see it is going behind that building and that's how amazing it is guys this is how you do that so I want to thank you guys for watching I know this is just a really small a simple tutorial but I just want to keep them short and brief so you guys can just go ahead and implement what I've just shown so that's it for the video thank you guys for liking thank you guys for subscribing as well and I will see you guys tomorrow just like usual with a brand new Vegas 15 tutorial so thank you for the continued support and obviously I will see you guys in tomorrow's video guys my name is Alex and welcome back to a brand new Vegas 15 tutorial and in this video guys I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to create a sniper scope effect so let's say that you want to pretend uh, that you're like let's say in a video game that, like it's gonna be so freaking simple to do this effect so I just thought like let's create an intro for an example to show you guys what I mean and that's basically like I'm sitting on my phone basically and then what happens is there is a scope you know uh, aimed on me and then I'm you know figuring it out and I'm looking in the scope and then I'm pretending you know that the, that you know that this that the sniper has shot so it's gonna be a pretty funny intro I thought it was and I'm just gonna show you guys exactly how to recreate that and how to drag in uh, the actual uh, sniper scope overlay how to add in the sound effects all of that so make sure to smash the like button down below already I would say let's get started so as you can see right now we are in Vegas 15 and this is just a raw unedited clip of me sitting uh, on my phone and then uh, you know right here at this point I'm figuring out that there's like a gun pointing at me and then I'm looking right in the scope I'm just looking in through the camera as you guys can see nothing too special and right here if I play this back I'm pretending that I got shot so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go to Google for a second okay what we're gonna do then is we're going to type in sniper scope and we're gonna type in PNG at the end because PNG means that you can look through it so we're gonna go to images and let's see which one is looking good. I think this one looks pretty cool. So we're going to right click on this image, save image as, and we're going to save this one to our computer. But I'm not going to save this image because already I already have the image. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to Vegas 15. And as you guys can see right now, it says sniper scope uh, border. That means that this is going to be our overlay. So we're going to drag that on top of the clip in Vegas 15. And as you can see, if I drag this above it, it looks really, really cool. So I'm just going to go ahead and time it where it should uh, appear. Right here, when I'm looking into the camera, I'm gonna make the sniper scope appear a little bit before that, so I, you know, uh, 
see that I'm, you know, being aimed at. As you can see right now, I'm looking through the screen. Let's stretch this a little bit. I'm figuring out, like, oh crap, there's a sniper aiming, aiming at me. And obviously, right here, as you can see, I'm just looking around. And then I'm going to start looking into the camera. And I'm going to get closer and closer. It's a little bit laggy, but you guys know what I'm trying to say. If I'm looking into the camera and then, boom, I'm pretending to be shot. So what we're going to do then is we're going to drag in some awesome cinematic boom effects. You can just find those on YouTube. If you type in cinematic booms, you can find lots of more uh, sound effects. So let me drag in that clip real quick. As you can see, those are a lot of booms. So what we're going to do is I'm going to just cut it right here and I'm going to use this small boom. I'm going to cut it where it stops right here. I'm going to add in a little fade out and then what we're going to do is we're going to time this on when I'm, you know, pretending to be shot. So as you can see, that looks really cool, and obviously you can you can change this boom uh, with like a gunshot effect, and when the sh when the uh, the gunshot happens, you can even make uh, the little uh, overlay move a little bit. Obviously, like a sniper does, it usually goes up uh, like most guns. And that's how to do it, guys. So this is how you create a sniper scope effect. I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the continued support. I will see you guys tomorrow in a brand new Vegas 15 tutorial, as always, on Friday. Because the entire month of September, and I will be uploading uh, like Vegas 15 tutorials full-time every single day, seven days a week. I'm really stoked for you guys to see more topics and that's gonna be it thank you guys and i will see you guys obviously in tomorrow's video just alex halford